I'm uh, Frank Levens, I'm from Belgium and uh, I represent uh, the International Society for Telemedicine and E-Health, uh, which is a non-for-profit organization um, based in uh, Switzerland and which um, federates the national uh, telemedicine associations around the world, but also uh, we have members in the field of institutions, corporations, individuals students and nurses, so trying to cover the, the broadest possible scope of uh, memberships. Well, it's something that started already uh, many years ago, you'd say, uh, and the, the IT part certainly, uh, we go back to the 70s, one could say even before, but uh, in the 70s, uh, national associations started to set up. In, uh, so it's not new, in, it progresses step by step. It's also true that the IT means that were available then uh, are, uh, were not what they are today. So there has been an evolution in that as well. And as the technology advances, obviously the, possi the possible applications also advance. And uh, the healthcare sector specifically takes advantage of that. So, and th this is not yet the end. It will continue and therefore we, we can be very optimistic about further possibilities. But um, one should use these tools appropriately. And that is the challenge and it's the danger as well. We just must make sure that it's done, that it's used properly. And telemedicine indeed, and telemedicine and e-health or, or um, electronic health is, is quite often associated in one um, uh, word, but they're the two parts. The, the, the IT part is more in the hands of the computer world, if I may say, where telemedicine as such is the scope of the um, healthcare professionals. And there, there's still a long way to go. Uh, healthcare professionals are probably the ones that are most reluctant to use it, or they are afraid because they have not been educated in it. And uh, it will change, it is changing, and that's also where the telemedicine itself, when I said earlier, IT started in the 70s, telemedicine started in the 90s. So there is a gap of 20 years. Uh, that gap will narrow, uh, but then again, uh, it, is, um, it is a fact, and a, an approach or a solution to that is definitely to adapt the, uh, it at the level of education. I'm pleading very much for um, uh, starting in medical schools from the first year to include uh, courses on technology and the use of it to the future doctors, physicians, nurses. Uh, that will definitely help uh, to advance even better and more securely, I think, to the future and convince the, the healthcare professionals about the, the, uh, the utility of uh, ICT in, um, in health. Indeed, the um, International Society for Telemedicine and E-Health, uh, abbreviated in ISFTEH, um, is a, a society that, it's basically a networking society, trying to uh, offer a platform to all the players in the field, but where the, the basic membership is a federation of national uh, telemedicine and e-health associations where they exist. Uh, they don't exist in every country. Here in India, there is the Telemedicine Society of India, which is the uh, national member representing India. But then we also have um, uh, other memberships such as institutional, and there uh, the Apollo e-health uh, foundation is uh, one of the institutional members. So we, we're very glad to have a representation uh, at higher level uh, uh, from India. For the rest, yes, we, we try to put uh, uh, available to our members uh, information uh, that is needed through our website where we, we do list, uh, for example, um, education possibilities, uh, uh, degrees up to master degrees. Um, uh, and, and also we um, uh, communicate through quarterly newsletters. 
uh, member announcements and also we have created two years ago an e-journal, uh, a scientific journal, which is uh, peer-reviewed and um, uh, indexed as well, uh, but which is not printed, it's accessible only online, but it's free uh, uh, access, which I think is also very important. And that means also that uh, anybody can present a paper, can be selected, and it's, um, it has a value, a scientific value, academic value. Well, the European Union, through the European Commission and, and its different uh, directorates, has, um, has uh, put a lot of efforts behind e-health. Uh, and, um, and also a lot of money. Now, whether all that ended up successfully, that's another story. But at least uh, it, it uh, motivated uh, the field to, to, to do a lot. And on, uh, several fields have already been regulated. Uh, Europe has probably, uh, as a whole, uh, more regulations than, uh, than any other part of the world. Uh, and, yeah, it, considering that it, this has been going on also for many years, I personally think um, we are not there where we should be, but we are, no, we are nowhere anywhere in the world where we should be. So let's relativate that as well. Uh, uh, and then don't forget that Europe or the Union is 28 countries and, and in total 50 countries. And beyond, uh, beyond that there are 500 regions. When we look at the, the regional map of Europe and all these influences because um, Europe is a fragmented continent. Through so many countries you have different um, uh, cultures, languages, social systems, etc. So it's not because something is successful in one country that automatically as a copycat it would be in another country. But nevertheless, there is again that unity and we, we, um, uh, we can learn from each other. And by extension, or, you know, internationally also, uh, uh, not that Europe has a monopoly on these things, not at all. But it's certainly an example that can be used in the not only for the good things, maybe we can learn from the mistakes as well. Well, I've been coming to India uh, in relation to Telmas in, since 10 years. As a matter of fact, the first conference I attended was also here uh, in Bangalore. And I followed the uh, evolution of the Telemedicine Society of India. I followed uh, this conference now. I've been out of the six, I think I've attended it four times. And yeah, I'm very impressed. I, India, uh, has a lot to offer. Uh, we all know that in Bangalore specifically is the world capital on uh, IT. And uh, what I would like to see, India exporting itself more. Uh, the rest of the world, I may be privileged because I've been here several times, I've witnessed it, but the rest of the world is not much aware uh, of uh, what India can offer. And I can hope that this event will also uh, attract in future more um, uh, international attendance, not only speakers, but also um, people who then are eager to, to see what's happening here. You, know, you look at what's happening in, in, in another uh, subcontinent like China, which probably is more aggressive, and uh, therefore not necessarily better, but at least uh, they, uh, they are present more abroad. Uh, so this is a challenge for the future. And, but it certainly serves uh, the needs of this country and God knows if they are big. You know, and certainly uh, the, towards the rural areas, which in other parts of the world is also a problem or an issue. But the, um, um, here certainly. And with a certain amount of success already, uh, not everything is solved, and that's good, you know, so there is still room for improvement. Well, the same, in fact, I'm, uh, uh, I'm putting it in the same basket, you know, telemedicine and, and IT, uh, uh, to ultimately serve the patient, because that's what it's about. Whether it's using the telecommunication, whether it's using the IT uh, systems, <clears throat> uh, it is about the patient in the end. Through the uh, healthcare professionals, as I said, uh, and uh, with the assistance of the, um, the technology. 
and uh, if that is, so that you can reach out to people, uh, certainly in the remote areas, who otherwise have nothing. So it's certainly something more than nothing, and that is positive, and we have to build on that uh, in, uh, to, to serve more than a billion people for God. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, the, um, it's also, there is no even, as I think of it, the, the, the BRICS uh, area, which is uh, the five uh, emerging countries, you know, like uh, Brazil, uh, Russia, uh, India, uh, China and South Africa. In the, India, there is now a, a um, um, uh, I think they, they call it a, a unit or a network, whatever, um, uh, on telemedicine. And India is part of that, and I think in that group they can also play uh, a major role and in, in show what comes. So all these International penetrations are, are, are positive and uh, uh, I think will, will contribute to, and, and the return will be the same because the more you cooperate with other parts of the world, you also get things back from them. Not only you give away, but you take back from them. Uh, as I said, there is no way back. So meaning there's always going to be a future. And that future is not between two parallel lines. It is broadening up as we speak. So there's going to be more and more possibilities. There's going to be uh, more to do as well. So it will also need from uh, all of us to master it. It's the humans that must be behind the tools and not the tools behind the humans. And um, that is extremely important. It seems obvious, but it's not always. I think, you know, people who are too busy with, uh, sometimes it, it even, ends up in gadgets. Gadgets, by definition, eliminate themselves. But um, the, that's what we have to, that's an important message in the end. The, the future is there and is bright, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but uh, we still will have to, to cross over mountains. Uh, but that's not bad, that's not bad. That will keep us busy. And, and not only us, it's the future generations. And uh, there will be a time, ultimately one could say, hopefully in X amount of years, I won't put a number on it, but in X amount of years, we won't even speak about e-health or telemedicine anymore because it will be totally, fully integrated. And that will be the, the ultimate achievement. No, I won't put a number. So, but because I think it's not important. Yeah. Uh, the, what, it's all relative. Uh, Earth exists for, thousands of years, probably billions of years. But uh, no, it's not important. It, 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 what is 25 years? It's only one generation. And usually we live through three, and if we get 100 years, through four generations. But um, no, it's, it's not important. Important is that there is no way back.